So uh, this week's project, or this project, is going to be a modified version of our first attempt at a fishing gaff. And this, this gaff actually works reasonably well, but we've got some design improvements we really want to try um, in making a second one. So there are a bunch of considerations. One is, uh, this is all made out of 303 stainless, and 303 stainless steel is saltwater sensitive, which I found out after the fact. So I've bought some 316 stainless, which isn't. Um, the pins that we held all this in with are hardened steel and so they're carbon steel and they will definitely rust so I bought some stainless 316 shafting and quarter inch and eighth inch to make pins for this it won't be quite as hard or strong but it should be adequate um, the fit right now into the aluminum uh, bar is press fit interference fit so the pins were just an added precaution so I don't think they're gonna have to hold a lot of force so I'm not worried about that uh, we might mess with the geometry of the uh, hook a little bit and uh, on this version we also added an end cap out of stainless which we will be doing again so that when you sit on the ground it doesn't gnarl up the end of the aluminum plus it counterweights a little bit to the end uh, one more thing about this end was the initial geometry decision this piece actually goes down the shaft about that far uh, this is really heavy this is a big piece of stainless so what we're going to do is we may only protrude about this much out of this one. One of our limiting factors was we only had a 12 inch piece of 303 for this. So in order for it to stick out far enough, uh, we did that, but it makes it kind of heavy. So the next version is going to be much shorter with the, the thick piece of stainless and then a longer section of smaller diameter. So it's lighter. All right, so let's just get to it. All right, so we're starting this out with the plug that goes in the butt of the gaff. And so what we're going to do is we're going to face this off, not that we need to because it's going to be inside the aluminum shaft, but just for consistency and, I don't know, I feel like I need to. Um, we're, we're going to cut like a one inch section, reduce it down to the inner diameter of the aluminum tubing, and then leave about a half inch sticking proud. And then we'll flip it around, round off the part that sticks out. This part is just to protect the gaff, uh, the butt of the gaff from being banged on the ground from getting damaged. So uh, we'll be back. All right, so we face this really quickly. By the way, we have a guest machinist today. My brother-in-law is here. He's going to do most of the work. I'm just going to, you know, help. Uh, and so the first part we're going to do here is we're going to go in three quarters of an inch and take it down to approximately 0.879. We want an interference fit, so we're going to walk it in slowly when we get close to the end. But the first pass, we need to take it down 100 and something thousandths. So I'm going to try and take 50 thousandths off in one pass. I've, again, I don't know how this uh, 316T stainless steel is going to work. Uh, I am uh, new to it, so it's supposedly harder than the 303, so we will soon find out. We'll try 50 thousands. <laughs> Okay, so we took two fifty thousandths passes. Uh, we're 0 .899, uh, 0 .2. So we're shooting for 0 .879, so we need 20 thousandths still. And we want an interference fit, so we're just gonna shoot for like another 15, and we'll be right back. Okay, so, we're, so right now we're down at 8, 0 .885, and we need to go to 0 .879. Uh, but uh, I'm going to chamfer it so we can test fit it in the pipe and feel just as it's getting close to that uh, ability to force fit, you know, to interference fit it in the pipe. So uh, we're going to do that. We're going we're to chamfer it and then we're going to come back and remove off the rest of the material. So we're going to take it to final depth and we're going to try and take off about two and a half of the five thousandths to leave a, an interference fit with the aluminum. It's thin walled aluminum tubing, it's only sixteenth of an inch. So we're going to take it to final depth or three quarters of an inch here, we're thirty thousandths over right now. And uh, then we'll bring the rest in with sandpaper, uh, maybe. Depends on, depends on how tight it is, we're going to have to test fit because, you know, aluminum tubing is not perfectly round. So this may or may not be right, we'll find out. Yeah, I noticed that the lower cut uh, depth, depth of cut, much worse finish. Interesting.
That seems to be common for a lot of carbide inserts. Yeah, so I thought the finish actually was terrible, but that was the coolant, the, the lube that I put on it. Once I rubbed that off, actually the finish is pretty outstanding, especially for a two and a half thousandth cut. So we're going to deburr this and just chamfer this little edge a little bit, and uh, we're going to test fit it and see if it's tight enough to spin it, put in. And if it is, flip this around, we're going to cut off a piece. We're going to flip it around and just uh, round over the edge of the butt of this. So this next part, we finished this to interference fit. Now we're going to, we tried to c cut it off in the hack in the bandsaw, and this stuff's way too hard for the bandsaw to cut it, even the bimetal blade. So uh, we're going to part it off and uh, get it off. We'll be right back. All right, so this next part, we're going to round over the corner. So a little aside for this video is that uh, this is like a 3 8 inch uh, tool shank and it wouldn't fit in this holder and still be able to center it. So I built this other tool, it's one of my other videos that let you use smaller uh, shanks inside the lathe with these big holders. So check out that other video. Alright so here's the finished part and we'll save putting it in the end of the aluminum for a little later. Uh, we'll work on the next part now which is sort of the opposite side of the aluminum pole that will hold the actual gaff uh, hook. So this end's gonna go in about one and three quarters inches. We gotta take it down to diameter again, back to 0.879. And uh, same sort of thing, we're gonna do a interference fit plus put some pins in it so that uh, if the fish is heavy. Uh, so let's just do it. Taking a spring pass to get the last half a thousand off for the interference fit for the uh, hook side. So this is the uh, this is the uh, part where the hook's going into turned around, and we're going to put a rather steep chamfer on it. Then we're going to drill a hole down the center for the. Uh, diameter of the hook and then next we're going to turn a point on a hook heat it up bend it and we'll be done so uh, be right back in a sec actually let's just watch the chamfer So this next step, we are going to drill and a thousandth over. So the, the metal we're using is 0.375 and uh, we are going to drill for 0.376. Well, actually, we're going to drill uh, 1 64th under 0.375 and then we're going to ream to 0.376. First, we'll center drill just to get things lined up nicely. Okay. Next step, quarter inch. All right, so this 
This is uh, one size, one sixty-fourth under three-eighths. So we're gonna do this one next. I've slowed it down. Pausing to break chips. The last step, remain. So we should be taking off a total of 64th, which would only be 128th of, of an inch per side. I might have to pull this out part way here and clear chips. Cross slide to uh, put a point on this thing. It's a lot of stick out with thin material, so we're going to take little, little cuts. Got to expect some chatter with this sort of thing. Try this a little less stick out, see if we can get a better result. We're there. So we're just going to face off the other side and chamfer to make it go in easier. And uh, then the next step will be to bend it. Okay, so here's the uh, final fit. This is the piece that goes in the end of the aluminum rod. This is going to be bent very soon into the hook shape. And here is the fit. It's basically a piston. <laughs> it it uh, fights back as you push it in with the air. <laughs> so the, we will be pinning all the way through this besides. Bending next. All right, so the next step is to, to take this piece right here, the hook, and we're going to bend it. So we made a mandrel. We did this last time, so we're going to reuse the same mandrel. And what we're going to do is, if I don't stab myself in the thigh, We're going to mount the mandrel in the vise. What we do is we heat this up, stick it through here, grab this piece to hold, and bend it right around the mandrel. And so that's what we're going to do. First, we're going to have to heat it with the welder, and we will come back. Yellow. 
So one of the bins we had to do off camera, but here's the final result. Now we just need to, and then we heated one spot a little bit too much here, it actually melted the metal. Um, and it was soft, so the, the uh, channel locks we're holding with dug in. Um, next we're going to put this, and we're just going to assemble the whole thing together. So here are the parts before we pin them. So uh, this is the mandrel we rotated, uh, bent the uh, crook around, a piece of stainless steel. And here's the hook itself with its uh, little uh, ugly spot. That looks better. Yeah, much prettier. Uh, this is the end that holds the hook, like this. And this is the part that goes in the butt of the aluminum tube, which is right here. And now we're just going to tap them together because they are interference fit, but we're still going to pin them. So we'll be right back. All right, so here's the finished product. The original version with the big heavy metal piece and the new version with the much smaller lighter. Doesn't go in as deep in here either. Um, smaller diameter rod, uh, double bend on it instead of a single bend. And uh, going down to the end pieces, uh, smaller end piece on the new one too. Not necessary, and it also meets the diameter the same. Uh, this one fits nicely, this one's undersized. So uh, there we go. The uh, homemade gaffs complete. Uh, 316T stainless, uh, should be saltwater friendly. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time.